I'm Dr. Boyd the Chemist, and today we're going to learn about osmosis by making a rubber egg. Yeah, you heard that right. Today we're going to make a rubber egg. Here's what you'll need. You'll need a raw egg still in its shell, a transparent container like a cup or a glass, and you'll need some vinegar. For our two bonus experiments, you'll need some corn syrup and you'll need some water. Osmosis is a passive transport process by which a solvent moves from an area of high concentration through a semi-permeable membrane into an area of lower concentration. Now, that term semi-permeable means that some solvents will pass through the membrane while other solvents will be prevented from passing through that membrane. The shell of chicken eggs is made mostly of calcium carbonate, and calcium carbonate can be removed by placing it in vinegar. Now, this means by placing an egg in vinegar, we can remove that outer shell, revealing the contents of the egg, which are housed in a semi-permeable membrane. Now, some of those contents within that semi-permeable membrane include that yellow yolk that we're all familiar with, but also a low concentration of water. Because vinegar has a high concentration of water, once the vinegar eats away that calcium carbonate outer shell of the egg, it should pass through that semi-permeable membrane into the inside of the semi-permeable membrane because recall, the inside of that semi-permeable membrane has a low concentration of water and in osmosis, you're moving from an area of high concentration, the water and the vinegar, into an area of low concentration, the water within the semi-permeable membrane of the egg. The result is a semi-permeable membrane that gets bigger and bigger and expands and it should result in a rubber egg. At least I think it should. Let's give it a try. For our safety discussion today, I do want to point out that there is a spill hazard associated with this particular demonstration. That is to say that you could knock over the glass that contains your vinegar. Because we're using vinegar as opposed to just water, you will also want to wear some eye protection like these goggles or some safety glasses. Lastly, you want to be careful not to break open your egg. It's delicate and if you break it open, that's all the fun right there. Carefully place your raw egg in an empty container. Pour enough vinegar in the container to completely cover the egg. You should notice bubbles forming on the surface of the egg. Now, just set the container aside for 24 hours and observe. You may want to write down your observations of what happens to the egg every few hours. After 24 hours, you'll notice that your egg appears to have gotten larger and that it is also covered in bubbles. What you'll need to do is pour the excess liquid out of the container that the egg is in. Under running water, carefully rub off what remains of the egg's outer shell. All right, this is a raw egg. This is my rubber egg. It does bounce. Notice also the size. This is much larger now than this egg. Now that the water from the vinegar is on the inside of the semi-permeable membrane from the egg, that means that the inside of that membrane has a high concentration of water in it. So, 
it should be possible to remove the water that's on the inside of that semi-permeable membrane by placing our rubber egg in a solution that has a low concentration of water, like corn syrup. So, let's give it a try. Let's do the exact same thing we did last night, but this time we're gonna take our rubber egg, place it in corn syrup, and let it sit for 24 hours, and we'll see what happens. Now, do indulge me as I bounce this rubber egg a few more times. All right, carefully place your rubber egg in an empty container. Now, pour your corn syrup on the top of the egg such that it would cover the egg if the egg sat at the bottom of the container. If you don't have corn syrup, but you happen to have honey, that should work also. Now, set your container to the side for 24 hours and write down some observations. One thing you'll notice right off the bat is that the corn syrup is a lot less viscous or more runny than it was before. So, it looks like this part of our experiment worked. The rubber egg is now deflated, meaning that there is less water inside of it than before. Okay, so it worked. Let's do one more bonus experiment. Now that you've gotten the water mostly out of the inside of your egg, let's take it and place it in water, right? There's a low concentration of water right now on the inside of your semi-permeable membrane. And so if we place it in water, it should fill up again. Let's give it a try. Do the exact same thing. Now take your, your deflated rubber egg, place it in water for 24 hours, and let's see if it fills up. And your egg is rubbery again. But wait, 